Well, as Mahmoud Abbas looks for new ideas to push for a two-state solution, political prisoners in Palestine are still on hunger strike. As many as 1,500 prisoners have been protesting against the grim conditions inside Israeli prisons for more than three weeks. They're calling for more family visits, better medical attention, and an end to imprisonment without charge. Now, Marwan Markouti is one of those prisoners. He's serving multiple life sentences. His son, uh, Marwan Barghouti, his son, uh, Arab Marwan Barghouti, joins us now from Washington. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, uh, sir. So just first of all, just tell us the current uh, state uh, of your father at the moment. Yeah, well, um, as you guys know, the hunger strike started uh, like uh, uh, 17 days ago. Uh, I'm here in Washington to, uh, in a trip just to raise our voice, to reach as many people as we can about the hunger strike that is going on. Uh, my father is leading the strike. Uh, he's doing it for us. He's doing it to be able to see us because I haven't seen my father for two years. Uh, for example, I haven't been able to even touch him for 15 years. Uh, these are the demands he's asking for. He's not asking for privilege. He's not asking for uh, too much. Um, uh, the demands are, can easily be met, but with the arrogance of the current uh, Israeli government, we know that uh, they just want to make it hard, uh, and they want to make it the hard way. And of course, uh, your, your father uh, was convicted, and the Israeli ministry say in a, in a New York Times article that he's on hunger strike to further his own political ambitions. Uh, what's your response to that criticism coming from the Israelis? Yeah, about the uh, political ambitions, I uh, say uh, just read the demands. You're going to find them only asking about human rights, nothing political about the message, nothing political about the strike. They're not asking anything political. The only thing they're asking for is to be treated as humans. The only thing they're asking for is to be able to visit their families. Um, uh, I personally used to go visit my father uh, like maybe once every two years, which is illegal by every international law. And the visit would take me 20 hours just to see him 45 minutes without even being able to touch him uh, on the phone where I can barely uh, uh, hear his voice. It's uh, a humane message. Anyone who says it's political, they are, they are only distracting you from the ultimate goal, from the main goal, uh, that it's just asking for human uh, dem demands. Uh, uh, an Arab, are you receiving uh, political support from the uh, Palestinian organizations like Hamas and Fatah? Um, I'm honestly, it's, uh, we, we, we can't say we're receiving or we're not. Uh, you can ask that to my family who are located in uh, Ramallah, back home. Uh, for me, I'm um, just receiving the support of uh, the world. Uh, we got, uh, as you all know, we started the Salt Water Challenge, and we received a lot of uh, support from the world. We got uh, messages, we got uh, videos. Everyone is doing the challenge in solidarity with the Palestinian political prisoners. Uh, we're uh, proud of that. We're keeping it going. We have uh, on board some surprises of Nobel Prize winners, of uh, uh, mothers uh, from Argentina who le lost their uh, sons back in the 60s when the struggle was going. Uh, everyone is uh, in support with the challenge, with the uh, prisoners. Uh, now, uh, when it comes to the Palestinian uh, uh, officials, I'm sure they're working on it, working on it. But honestly, we, we're not seeing these efforts. And we're waiting for the demands to be met. We're waiting for everyone to unite in one voice the voice of the humanity. We ask humanity for justice. And finally then, uh, Arab Marwan Bargatu, uh, how far do you think your father is willing to go? Um, my, I'm going to quote my father when he said, our chains will be broken before we are. Um, my father is a man who knows what he's doing, he's experienced. He, uh, he, he spent in Israeli jails throughout his life more than 21 years. Um, 
he, uh, I think my father is a man that keep, keeps his word. What he's asking is, um, is, is just his basic human rights. If you go to any international law, you're going to find what he's asking is legal to any prisoner. We're not talking why he's there from the first place. Like, he shouldn't be there. He was backed by very high-profile people like uh, Nelson Mandela, like uh, the ex-president uh, uh, of the U.S., uh, Jimmy Carter, like uh, Angela Davis, and many names, Desmond Tutu. Uh, I can't name them right now. He's a very high-profile, uh, prominent uh, Palestinian political leader. He's going to take it as far as it, uh, it, it, uh, it takes to get his uh, demands and his 1,600 fellow prisoners who I send my love, my energy to all of them, not only my father. It's not only about him. It's about many prisoners who are asking for justice. Uh, we're talking about Karim Yunus, who spent 35 years in jails, in Israeli jails, the longest political leader in history, uh, who uh, we saw two days ago in, in trial. And they asked him about my father. And we can't, I, I'm, as a son, I'm worried about my father. We don't know anything about him. The lawyers are not allowed to go there. No one is allowed to go there. So it's really frustrating for us because they put him in the solitary confinement. He spent three years of his life in solit solitary confinement. So someone with this, uh, w w with this mentality is not going to give up. Someone with this mentality is going to get his demand because the arrogance of the Israeli government is not to be explained. And we need this to be uh, to end right now and i uh, encourage everyone personally who is seeing me right now through your uh, tv just to do the challenge okay. and just to raise their voice with humanity okay. and with justice arab uh, marwan barghouti we uh, thank you for joining us